we are moving to our next participant who is ca amit shenoy and uh, the use cases usage of python and audit pair good evening good evening amit ji Yes, your screen is now visible. One second. Visible, no sir. Yes, yes. Your slide is yeah. visible. Yeah. My topic is usage of Python in audit. Our problem statement is for for performing payroll audit as a part of statutory audit. There are a lot of manual entries. There are a lot of manual tasks like managing multiple monthly salary sheets. Then we have to do a lot of copy paste once you have twelve months payroll sheets. There are a lot of manual errors also possible. And sometimes each column there can be different different uh, headings. The, the inconsistencies will be there in our headings. And also to to make this twelve months tabulated, it becomes a very tedious task. It may take hours together. Then a lot of aggregations and all not possible. I mean possible, but it will take a lot of time. So these are all our problem statements. For this problem statement, the one of the good solutions is using Python code. Certain operations can be also done through macros, but however. python has got more benefits compared to usage of macros for payroll one is we can do fully automated data extractions and consolidations and it can handle inconsistent formats automatically then standardized outputs can be obtained then conference summary reports also can be obtained then lot of other analysis like employee wise month wise quarter wise all that sort of reports can be generated to make the payroll consolidated so to do this python implemented for our audit what is that we have to make is we have to install the python python software can be installed free of cost from google this is the version of python 3.13.3 version this can be downloaded from google free of cost this is the latest version then installing the python is a important thing so for that there are certain do's and don'ts if you just go to any gpts and say that hey look we want to install python give me the instructions as to how it can be installed so you will if you do like that you will get the list of do's which you have to follow while installing python to your system or else what will happen once you install the python later on when you run your course you will not get desired results you may have to do lot of operations through cmd prompts so to avoid that first see the do's and don'ts for installing the python this is not so technical stuff it it will be very easy once you get the list of do's and don'ts for installation so now we will demonstrate how do you use this python codes step 1 is installation of python codes which i briefed now then once you install then you will configure all that then for our pro problem statement we have to have a prompt that prompt we should give it to gpts once you have your prompt ready the the main work itself is how do you design your prompt let's say for example once i have this kind of uh, formula or predetermined template again and again for uh, multiple cases i did not go and waste time on creating multiple prompts once the prompt standard prompt is ready once the python uh, code is set we to just the code should the 
what should we like to just give the path as to where our files are located so this be uh, in this way the path again need not create for example now amit sir some network issue right here and you may switch off your camera each sheet separate detail from Amit sir, standard instructions. Sorry sir, your voice some is net... breaking, Amit ji. There is some network issue at your end, so you can switch off your camera. Then you can continue. Amit ji, can you hear us? Amit ji, Amit sir. Abhi me start with next use case. Amit ji, we we may wait for two minutes, then we can move it to the next use case. But am I audible? Yes, you're yes, audible. Sir. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. The screen is visible now. Visible now. Sir. You may yeah. restart. Yeah, yeah. This is the prompt, standard prompt I can give. You need not to copy this. Uh, well, when you're doing for first time, you can try with the small, small prompts so that you can improve your version. So this is my standard prompt I have set. Name wise, month wise, how the private data should come, how the consolidation should happen. So. Once you give your prompt, you will get the Python script like this. Then this Python script, you can copy it. Then once the Python is installed, you will get a software called as idle. So in your background, this will be there so that there is no leakage of data to external world, unlike AI. When you use GPTs, your data will get exposed to outside world. But in Python, only your Python script will be generated from outside world, but your data will not be leaked to outside world. This is the most important advantage. So you have to go to a new file and just paste your code script. Once you get the Go and run your code. Then it will ask you to save. At that time, you give. Amit, sir. We can't hear you, Amitji. For example, I want to like this. So it is asking me to tell me the path. Your screen is stuck, I believe. So we, we can see uh, the untitled page where you were about to run the script. Amit sir, you may switch off your, off your camera. It will. In that way, you will consume less bandwidth. Yeah, yeah, switched off. So, so this is the path. So I will just press enter. So it is asking how many columns you want. I am telling all columns I want. Then it is asking which row number you want. For example, column number. I want 10. I want gross salaries for some of my consolidation. I will say 10. See, now my payroll sheet is generated with consolidated data. 
name summary is arrived, month wave summary is arrived, payout data summary is arrived. So by virtue of doing Python, we are able to solve our statement. So sim similar basis for extracting uh, information from PDFs also, we can use Python. Then for a lot of other works also, we can use Python in simpler way. The most important thing is we should know how to download the Python and how to install it. Then you should take the help of GPTs to make your Python scripts properly. So then once you, are, once you have done that, then you should uh, go on creating your library files. The next time when its application comes, again, you need not waste time on trial and errors all that. You have to just copy your path. This is the way in which you can effectively use Python in your day-to-day -day audit practice. That's all. Thank you. Thank you so much. So why uh, you have you have answered why you have used only Python because you don't want to use macros no. and macros. We also certain... no, no. we also first we also used macros. Then what happened? Mm -hmm. We'll have some works like one is extracting a lot of information from PDFs. For example, mm -hmm. extracting data from from uh, for sales uh, purchase. Uh, we need you'll have a lot of PDF files. So then for Excel 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 files also we have a lot of works. This macros will predominantly work in Excels. It may not mm -hmm. run predominantly on PDFs. So once you uh, choose one uh, particular software, it should help both the areas, Excel as well as PDF extractions. So it is following both. And uh, it is, uh, we are enjoying this. Uh, we are enjoying Python more than uh, macros. So uh, we are using more many times Python. So we have forgotten macros now. Then again, when this application comes, we'll see whether macros are needed. Definitely, definitely. And same is the case with Power Query codes. And and okay. also similar manner, if you want to have and similar manner, if you want to have codes for macros, same way you can do it in uh, uh, GPT. Similar codes you will get. Same, for example, same task, you can check the output, how it comes in uh, Python, how it comes in macros. Right. And you have used, so basically this is something that you can, you could do easily uploading the files and getting the output, but you are using the Python code. You are getting the Python code because you want to keep that data secure. Don't want to upload that, right? Don't want to upload. Even, even in macros also similar feature are there, but sometimes in macros, you will uh, uh, consume a lot of spaces. Macro hmm. files, again, when you open, it, it will... Uh, it can it can make your system very slower also in macros and right. one more thing is when you use python what is that you have to be careful is it runs on your uh, control panel sometimes it will say uh, you are not able to generate this output because so many installations and libraries are missing in your system so at that time it will say you have to download pap or to download this you have to download that so that time you have to be careful if you're not mm. careful, if some uh, unwanted, uh, uh, if, if the GPT says you you put this library, this library, and if that is uh, dangerous to your system, it may be creating a problem. So while using Python also, you have to be careful as to whether these files can uh, cause any damage to your system. So whenever such okay. issues are there, you have to approach your uh, IT admin as to get confirmed whether these are fine, this kind of library files installations, whether any issues are there, you have to get it confirmed from them. Definitely, definitely. So the only trick is with the Python installation. And once it is installed, it is easier for, uh, I mean, <laughs> navigating or using. Okay, great. Yes. Uh, thank you so much, Amitji, for your use case presentation. You can stop sharing your screen now. And yes, we sir. will move to our next participant.